Let's talk about conflict in role-playing games, because the conflict between the characters and the conflict between the players are both very important. So my PC runs into a guy trying to sell, I guess, some sort of cat, and a guy's got a bowl stuck on his head. That looks more like an aardvark kind of thing without a big nose. I this guy know. might be an astronaut. I, I really want that head bowl. The head bowl is really easy. All right, so we want the head bowl. Now, maybe the guy doesn't want to give us the head bowl. Well, what are we going to do here? We, we have can a... buy it from him. Now, maybe we're going to start role-playing, but again, that's not the game. If we just start talking in character. And don't start telling me that D&D says make up your own rules, right? I could write make your, your own rules and write it on like the last page of the Monopoly instruction manual. That doesn't mean anything. So if my character is just that character sheet, and I'm confronted with this, what does the game try to tell me to do? Well, if all I have is a hammer, then a bunch of people are going to end up dead. <laughs> Everything highlighted in red only applies to killing people with swords and hammers. And magic. There are other parts here that are also used in combat, but they can theoretically be used for non-combat in a few situations. That red stuff, just fine. Yeah, I mean, your rope skill can be used to kill people, but also to get over a trap that's not killing anyone. Right? So basically, the game is giving me all these great tools. If I want to fight with these guys and kill them and smash that ball... It's like going to be game, way fun. We're going to get to use all these fun stuff in the D&D book, like, oh my god, I get to kill someone? Look at all these funky dice I get to roll. Oh, yeah. I'm rolling tons of dice, I'm using all this stuff on my character sheet, and a bunch of people die. <laughs> I got a bolt now for my head. But if I want to talk to the guy, maybe I roll a diplomacy check. One line on the whole sheet? How satisfying is that? I roll one dice, he gives you the ball in the head. Roll one dice, he doesn't give you the ball in the head. And if we just role play it out, which a lot of GMs are like, oh, just role play it out, and they'll see where it goes. And what did we need any of this page for? We could have just not played this game and just role played it out. And more importantly, that moves the context up. It's not just character versus character. It ends up being player versus player. You've all been in this boat. The guy has a three charisma, and yet somehow he's always getting everything he wants all the time. Because in the, in the real world, he has charisma, right? Your real world charisma matters when the game doesn't make it not matter, right? Your real world intelligence in solving puzzles matters when the game doesn't make your low intelligence in the game matter.